Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, we're going to go over some changes with Recluse, One-Eyed Mask, and Xenophage. Some have been buffed, some have been nerfed. And yeah, we're going to go over this in this video, so remember to subscribe and like for more Destiny 2 content. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So, to be aware that the Festival of the Lost and Momentum Control is ending this week, so you want to try to bang out any of the stuff, like the Catalyst, if you want to go get those one-shot kills and Momentum Control, Bass, Braytech, uh, the Festival of the Lost weapon, just be sure to get it this week, because this week will be the last week that you'll be able to get all this stuff going. So, just a reminder, again, that Bungie's looking for a lot of people to put any of, like, images of stuff that you see like fun during playing destiny just to be aware anything a sense of a, like an achievement belonging devastation or heartbroken domain a human connection like laughter until you cry the moment you know you love this game i like a moment that bun that you love so much that you want to share with bungie so be aware that bungie wants to find what your story is throughout destiny and to share with the community but for this, we're going to go over the sandbox. So the recluse is going to have some changes with Master of Arms. They've removed the precision dam damage modifier. Recluse will continue to receive a damage bonus from Master of Arms, but damage will not default to precision values when the perk activates. Um, One-Eyed Mask will changes to uh, the Vengeance. They remove the overshield granted from defeating a pawn that inflicts the damage on you. So be aware that that was just too over P and PVP with like the overshield going every time. It was just too OP at the moment. And people's been concerning about the Xenophage exotic. So the Xenophage is getting a buff. They increased the PVE damage by 50%. Ammo pulled from PVP crates have been increased to 4 out of 6 from 3 out of 4 from shared and solo heavy ammo crates respectively. So, people said it was a little bit weak, but machine guns are trying to get a higher immune uh, capability with other heavy weapons, and they're trying to push Xenophage to making it a better weapon. I know that not having a precision right there is kind of like crazy, but who knows what's going to go with that, with that weapon in the future, but maybe that weapon will have something cool to play in the future. So, again, these might roll out some throughout the week or throughout next season so be aware that one eye is going to be nerfed finally and that was going to be that's going to increase a lot of players because i know it's been getting all that stuff recluse is going to get nerfed a little uh, i don't know what it's going to actually be like because the effects of master of arms are going to be gone so who knows what will happen throughout this so i hope you guys did see like Hope you guys' thoughts are like crazy that Xenophage is getting a buff, but one eyed and recluse are getting a nerf throughout here. Again, this will be the final week of Festival of the Lost, so we want to get all that stuff done. Um, Stadia and Cross Save, by the way, if you would like to know, is launching tomorrow, so there's going to be a lot of players. Not tomorrow, but next week. So, next week, the of course, Stadia and Cross Save will launch. So, if you want to check that out you want to get on the stadia or anything like that be sure that that place is a cool cool console put your thoughts on stadia in the comments if you think stadia is not good as like ps4 pc xbox you know that i don't know what stadia would feel like all right as a week away players have roughly one month left of the season of undying players who wish to unlock seasonal ranks triumphs and or exclusive gear need to do so before maintenance begins on tuesday december 10th that will be the launch date of season nine season of dawn we also like to take this opportunity to make players aware that if any complete the following pursuits will be removed from the players inventories once the season includes so this will be the first watch this will be the season eight vanguard quest battle drills crucible and keep it on gambit so these three quests i'm pretty sure these are the ritual weapons actually these quests will go away if you do not complete them I have to find out if I'm true with that, so I'll put it in the comments if I'm right or wrong. But again, the first watch battle drills, keeping on. You know what? It's not the pinnacle wep the ritual weapons, but it's those like additional quest stuff that gets you like the C uh badge and they give you like the emblem and the shaders. Those will be going away. Again, there's some known issues that malfeasance um. People who don't have Forsaken may lose the access to the Malfeasance quest. 
the complete 10 legendary frames set for Yotan and Lehman Arc Exotic Quest is currently not only counting Korea weapon drops from Black Harmony Forges. The weekly Vanguard Strike Challenge says that players must complete Vanguard bounties during the week. This is not true. Players must complete Vanguard Strike with an equipped subclass that matches that week's element Sig modifier. So be aware of that. But again, guys, that's all I got for this week. I hope you guys do enjoy. Again, the final assault on the Vex Offensive will be launching this Tuesday. This will be the last event for the season of Undying. I will be making a video later of how, like, if there's any drops or anything special with it going on. But again, I hope you guys are psyched about that. This will be the last thing, and then maybe a week after, they will reveal Season of Dawn. So be aware that... Yeah, you know, who knows what's going to go on. But again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know people with one-eyed and recluse maybe be happy now. Or people who don't have it or just don't want it anymore because they're nerfed. But who knows what's going to go on with it. Put your thoughts down in the comments about it. But again, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.